What uh so we had we had Clarissa Shields on uh two <laughs> we had Clarissa Shields on two weeks ago. We're getting we're, we're getting breaking news here, all, all kinds of breaking news. Uh, a, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Who's a, who's your management, uh, Marlene? Who's your manager? Uh, Samuel Contreras or Sam Contreras. We call him, his name's Samuel. We call him Sam. He's from LA. Oh, okay. We had Cla- yeah. we had Cla- well, we had then, uh, we had Clarissa Shields on two weeks ago. Uh, Coach is a super fan. I'm a fan as well. Uh, but I'm I'm a huge super fan of uh, of you, Marlene. Uh, she came on. We had a good time talking to her. But then later on in uh, earlier this week, she had uh, she had some words and she went on a little thirty minute uh, you know I don't want to say rant, but she went on a little thirty minute thing on Instagram uh, and she brought up your name. What's what's going on there? Um, I didn't even know until. So I was at the gym, we were doing hills, and someone said, uh, hey, did you see what Clarissa said about you? And I was like, I did not see what Clarissa said about me. And then they were like, do you want to see? And I was like, no, not really. I don't really (laughs) care. Like, she always does that to me. I don't really think about Clarissa. I don't care about Clarissa. I like Clarissa, but she has her issues because she has her issues. Um... I respect her. I like her. I have a problem with Krista. Um, she has a problem with me. And so I don't even. What did she say? I don't know what she said. Well, I guess. I guess. There, I guess she got kind. Of, she got upset about. Uh, I guess. I guess it was initiated, Coach. The fact that she said Marlene said it was an. <laughs> Marlene, you said that she was. Uh, it was an embarrassment that she called herself the goat. I think that's what started it. Oh no! I didn't say it was an embarrassment. I said it was disrespectful. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I didn't say it was nothing. We, I don't know what she said, or maybe she tried to say that to make me look worse than uh, Ray, uh, she wanted uh, me. Uh, she wanted people to agree with her. Marlene, a uh, ring. Yeah, uh, I said it was disrespectful. Yeah. I don't know who it was. I, I didn't remember the name. Uh, uh, a writer from the Ray magazine called her. And yeah, told yeah. Her, I remember. Yeah, called her and told her that you said it was embarrassing. Something that's what. That's what started it all. No, I think I think she, I think she said, I think she used the word embarrassment, um, but quote unquote, I said it was disrespectful, um, because one in my and this is I mean it's a, it's a it was a question for me and I'm gonna answer it the way I answer it. I feel like it's just I don't, I don't think it's appropriate. I think it's disrespectful. You can't call your the greatest woman of all time. <laughs> Because there's still a lot of girls to follow you, and there were still girls before you. Like if you ask me, pound for pound, if you arrested, would have murdered her. But it's kind of like it's like, hey, who knows? You know, that's boxing. So to me, to call yourself the greatest woman of all time, that means all the girls right now who are putting in just as much as effort as you, who are trying just as hard as you, who are busting their ass every day just as hard as you. All the little girls who are trying to be better than you, to be just like you, you're saying, that's it. I'm seeing the deal. I'm the greatest woman of all time. To me, it makes no sense. We haven't even evolved far enough in the sport for you to call yourself the greatest woman of all time. I think it's, I think it's disrespectful. I, I, I don't, I just, that's just, just what I, how I see it. Well, I, I'll, I'll say this, right? And, and, and I, I like Clarissa. She, uh, I, I, when she was on the show uh, two weeks ago, I, I, I got to see a different side of her. Uh, and I get a thousand percent what you're saying. And when, when you use that word goat, right? And it's a big word right now because everyone's using it to, you know, you got you got the whole Michael Jordan thing. You got it in football. You got it in boxing. You got it with Mayweather. And the one thing, the, and I'll say this, and, and it's a truly a bias, very, very biased statement. And Coach... Uh, Derek will probably give me a hard time later because I'm saying this, but when when Mike when, when they asked Michael Jordan if he's the goat, his response was, "You can't. I can't call myself the goat. It's the responsibility of everyone else to call me a goat if I'm the goat, right? And 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 you have you know 
That's what I'm and, and, and I think so. I think to your point, I think you have you have a point. And you know, maybe somewhere along it got it got you know it lost in translation. By the time it got to her, you know, she, something different might have been said to her. But I, I would agree. I, I would agree with what 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 when it comes when it comes to calling yourself the goat in any sport. You can you can't take it upon yourself to call the greatest. Now you know yeah people like Muhammad Ali who 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 used to say it, but he was established already. I think I I, I don't know. Coach, go ahead because this the, the, you 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 like using the word the goat, huh? Go ahead. Co where, where, the world wants to know, Coach. I want to know how you feel about calling about Clarissa calling herself a goat. I think I think she's I think it's a form of uh, the same thing Ali did when he was yeah. telling Joe. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I, I think it's just a form of uh, promotion, and yeah. I think I think I can listen to Marley's opinion, and I understand. I can listen to your opinion. I understand. And I understand what uh, Clarissa's saying. So it's, it's really semantics, and right. really, really doesn't matter. It's it's people people prefer like you know like with Lil Floyd promoting the shit out of he never lost a fight, and so now there's a whole section of boxing fans who think if you lost a fight, you ain't nothing. Well, that's ridiculous. But it's just semantics. It was something that he was using to promote. Being a Clarissa Shields fan, do I think she has uh, the ability when it's all said and done to be the greatest? Of course, we'll see when it's finished. When it's all said and done, we'll see. If she calls herself that, she she got every right to call herself that. Marlene got every right to say, I don't think I think we shouldn't do that until it's all until we figure out, you know, until it's fifty years from now, women been back. Or or just let people say it for you. Um, I agree with that. I people agree. talk about yeah. when I tell people, you wouldn't. To me, this is. I feel like if she, and this sucks because I have to actually say this. But if she was, if if we were all guys and she wants to do that, it's different. But I feel that our we haven't had a lot of pros yet. We haven't been on TV yet. We haven't. We're barely getting there. We're barely opening that door. It's, too early for that BS. It's way too early. Like, like let's wait a, a little while until we can start really establishing or even start getting into that persona. You know, like I'm the greatest woman of all time. Like the fact that you even to put the word women, woman in it, means we're behind. Like you can't the greatest woman of all time. Like can't you say the of all time, but we have to say women or women because we're boxing and we have to separate ourselves because we're women boxers. When we can get in the ring and no one says, oh, female fighter, women fighter, woman fighter, then that's when, we're, that's when we made it. The fact that you have to say greatest woman of all time just shows that you shouldn't be talking about who's the greatest right now. Like, just don't. Would you agree? Would you agree because you was there? Would you agree? Uh, that Clarissa Shields out the gate. I don't remember no big buzz that she was supposed to win the gold medal that year in London. Was it London y'all was together? Mm -hmm. uh, she she didn't have people falling all over herself even after she won. Uh, people wasn't falling all over themselves and, and, and giving her no interest. Uh, I remember when she turned pro and so she wins another gold medal. And then, and then I'm like sitting back saying, I wonder who's gonna pick her up and all that. Like, Golden Boy came to get you, and different different ladies got different promoters. And I'm sitting there going, it's it's like if she don't, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Like if she don't start making a mistake, they gonna pass her up. So would you agree that she's not? Uh, Maybe, maybe now, but she wasn't getting no big fan fair. And, and 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 this thing, you know as well as I do, this thing is very self self promoting. If you don't have any kind of machine behind, you. or do you think she? I don't know. You know a person, or do you think there was a reason why she wasn't getting no fan fair, regardless of the accomplishment she was doing? 